Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Naples, Florida with Joey Surreal Camera as he, uh, well, fairly quickly gets kicked out of a courthouse only to have a meeting of the minds with a uh, more soft-hard guru right afterwards. And believe me, this is a match made in heaven. Pure comedy gold as these two competing scripts clash with each other. I mean, it is hilarious. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're here at the Cotter County Government Center property. Courthouse, there's a bunch of properties here. There's buildings in this property. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning back into the Surreal Cam, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls. And today I'm out in beautiful Naples, Florida, in Collier County Government Center. There's a bunch of buildings on this government property here, which this would be my first time entering this Collier County courthouse. As I did my research, they have the same bogus, unconstitutional judge's order as Lee County, which Lee County is right next to Collier County that you cannot video record anywhere in this building. Mind you, there's several departments here that the public goes in and conducts business. For example, like the clerks of courts, which that's why I was trying to enter that building to file a public records request with them. So as I entered very peaceful and respectful exercising my rights, things escalated real quick. Thanks to the cocky deputy S. Acosta, which you will see exactly why I'm saying this and make sure you stick around to the very end because this gets interesting and trust me, a complaint was filed. Enjoy the video. Okay, thank you for establishing that, Joey, that there is a general uh, judicial rule throughout the state of Florida that says that you cannot use uh, video recording equipment in the courthouse and I'm sure with very good reason. In fact, here it is, and uh, here's a more detailed explanation as to why. And then there is the fact of uh, the CFR that tends to affect the courthouses, which you should remember very well considering it's gotten you kicked out of several other courthouses in Florida. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage and get reminded as to how stupid you are, Joey. Flashback. And I'm just walking around downtown. Ba bam. Federal rules and regulations to the property, to all federal properties, pretty much. Yeah, you know, Joey, uh, unlike your uh, pathetic little audience, I can actually read. And, you know, to be perfectly honest, Joey, I'm a little concerned about your ability to read it as well. So here we go. 41 CFR 102-47.42. Except where security regulations, rules, orders, or directives may apply, or a federal court order or rule prohibits it, persons entering in or on federal property may take photographs of Spaces occupied by a tenant agency for non-commercial purposes only with the permission of the occupying agency concerned. Spaces occupied by a tenant agency for commercial purposes only with the written permission of an authorized official by the occupying agency and building entrances, lobbies, foyers, or corridors or auditoriums for news purposes. So under that umbrella, dude, you are not allowed to do anything in there with the video camera. And the fact that this is a courthouse makes it a non-traditional public forum. So once again, Joey, you completely fail at, well, understanding the basics. Perhaps you should have stayed in school instead of dropping out and becoming a complete and total criminal numbskull dipshit moron. End of flashback. So you see, Joey, you're not exactly in the right no matter what you think you are. I mean, you don't do your research properly and uh, well, you end up being wrong about 100% of the time. I say about 100%, but it's more like 
uh, more like 99.9999% of the time. I mean, you got to be right every once in a while. Pour it in here. I bet you watch this. All right. For real? Really? Why is that? Is that a, is that a law on that? Is that is that like a law? Is that like a law? Uh, no, Joey. You do realize this is a non-traditional public forum, and they have more control over this uh, this establishment than uh, you think they do. Not just for courtroom reasons, but well, you do have uh, tax issues going on in this building. You do have financial information that needs to be secured, all sorts of things that would be pose a security risk, you moron, that needs to be taken care of. But you don't seem to understand that. I mean, you have the education of a third grader anyway, so it's quite understandable. What's that? Is it a law on that? There's a sign out front that says you can't film so, in there, you can't take any photographs. So I can't conduct business in there? I got to do some you public can records. You come in here with a phone, you just can't record or take pictures. That's crazy. That's a policy or a law. That's not the law. I have a right to record in here. Sebastian, you want to take care of this for me, please? That's unconstitutional, man. You have to step Joey, Joey, uh, how many times are you going to say something's unconstitutional and think that it's going to change anything? Uh, it's not your word that changes whether it's constitutional or not. It's the courts. And guess what? The courts have decided that it is very much constitutional because if it wasn't constitutional, it would most likely have been changed by now. So you sit standing in a courthouse saying something is unconstitutional when it's actually the courts that decide uh, whether something's constitutional or not is kind of asinine considering that you don't have the power to say whether it's constitutional or not. That's happening, please. For real? The deputy will, will explain it to you. That's weird, man. There's a sign out front that says So I can't, can't conduct them. business while I'm recording here, is my right? You can't record or you can't take pictures. Really? That's that's very there's unconstitutional. There's a sign outside, there's a sign outside. But is that, is that a state law or not, or what? Sign out front, the other side, this is. What's up, man? I'm just gonna conduct some business and file public. Really, I can't do that? Why is that? I have no problem speaking to you over here. Is that a state law on that? I, I, you just come outside with me, I'll talk to you. We can talk right here, man. No, I'm not going to do that here. So Fruit. they don't want this camera in here. Don't touch come me, on. bro. you got to go. You can't stay here. So if I if I don't leave, leave your what? Your I'm going to make you come out, yeah. How are you going to make me? So I'm, I'm going to Don't touch me. No, no. Don't touch me. No, no. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, though. Listen, listen. No, right. don't touch me, man. What's your name and badge number? Acosta. Come on, I didn't come here for this, Me neither. Come on. You just put your hands on me, bro. Yeah. I have the right to do No, you you have the right to put your hands on me? I do. No, you don't. Just What's your name? What's your name? 3933. Three, three. Right, I'm going to file a complaint. You can't put yes, your hands sir. on people. Yes, sir. Uh, what makes you think that? Well, go ahead. File a complaint. Yeah, I will. Okay. Why would you put your hands on me? So you didn't give me a chance to come out. So I'm trying to talk you, to you. I know. Right? I so come here. I'm very, very respectful, man. You asked me a question. I'm going to answer If you. I put my hands on you, what would happen? It's not going to be good for you. Uh, why well, so why what makes you... Because I escorted you, you out. And I you can don't do have that. to touch me. But listen to me. The law says I can. What law is that? You don't have that? to agree with it. Listen. No, what listen. law is that? So you're going to go across the street and you can speak hold, about Hold that. on. I'm already outside. Yeah, yeah. What law gives you the right to put your hands on me? So if you go across the street, they'll tell you. Nah. Yeah. Tell me. You're the one who put your no, hands on me. I can escort you out. You, you can do it. You can and tell me to leave. You can tell me to leave. But you cannot touch me. Sure. No, you can't. You're wrong, bro. You're misinformed, man. You're misinformed, man. Okay. Oh, he's misinformed, Joey. Uh, well, that's kind of the pot calling the kettle black right there. Uh, but speaking of being misinformed, uh, we're about to have another player in this game uh, join in here in a second who is uh, probably more misinformed than Joey is. And, well, even Joey is going to be confused at certain points here in the next few minutes. So let's uh, continue on, shall we? I'm outside so, already. You so can't do that. You, you so what happens if I put my hand on your back? When you go, what will happen? Find out. What happened? I'm you not, know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen you know to what's me. Gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen to me. That's right. Well, you don't have the right to do that. Okay. Then go file a complaint. I will. Okay. Okay. So get back to work, bro. Oh yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. You don't need to do that, bro. I come to conduct business here, bro. Thank you. That's you're very unconstitutional, dude. Okay. You're not you're not familiar with the First Amendment? I guess not. No. I guess not. Right? You swore an oath to it, yeah. dude. 
Yeah, I guess not. You don't give a shit. You said that. Nah, it looks like it. Your yeah. demeanor, dude. Yeah. You don't do that, yeah. bro. To people, yeah. man, that have cameras, dude. Yeah. That doesn't give you the right, bro. Yeah. You don't do that. I'm going to file a complaint on you. Go ahead. Knock I will. File. You can't yeah. put your hands on people. Yeah, okay. You said there's a law on that. What yeah. law is that? Go find out. Can I just grab your attention? Go find out. Hi. Hi. Can I grab your attention for a second? Yeah, after he gets back to work. I'm, I'm at work. Nah. He can go back inside, bro. Yeah, I'm at work. I'm good. Yeah, I'll stay right here all day. I'm getting paid right now. Yeah, so am I. Okay, good. So. Yeah. We can talk right here. Come on. No, it's, it's okay if, if you don't mind. It's, it's I, I really would like to know what you have to you? say, but this guy just put his hands on me. Yeah. Oh. Don't, you don't. <laughs> oh, come on now, Joey. Uh, you know, you, you're you losing your man card right here at this point. You've got a, a pretty lady who's trying to intervene in this situation and ask you to come with her. I mean, uh, most men would probably just. Uh, choose her over the conflict that's going on right here and probably get a phone number out of the deal. I mean, uh, but that, what that, whatever, dude. I mean, I'm not questioning you in that way, but it seems rather suspicious at this point. Yeah. You shouldn't have that badge and gun. Bro. I know. You shouldn't do that. Go talk to them. Nah, I will. Okay. I got, I'll, I'll take, okay. you don't do that. You okay. don't escort people out like that. Okay. Why would you do that? I'm asking you, why would you put your hands on me? Why? Now you don't want to talk. I already said what I had to say. No. You don't want to hear what I have to say. No, it's so not. I'm not going to complain. It's not. No, myself. it's not that. But why? I just want to know. I'm curious. Why would you put your hands on me? Why though? Why? What makes you think that you have this power? We already have you don't have this power, dude. Then you don't. Only if I'm arrested, dude. Okay. Only if I'm detained okay. legally. You can't do that to okay. people. Can you do that to her? Sure. Yeah. You yeah. can put your hands on her. I can. You think you're a smart ass, dude? You shouldn't even be a cop, bro. I know. You're a smart ass. You shouldn't even be a cop, bro. This is why the issue we have in America. This cops like you, dude. I know. Yeah. I know. You don't give a shit uh, you're a clown yeah. dude. go ahead yeah. what were you you, you you can tell me you can tell me right here this guy's a clown dude a ghost is a clown i'm not afraid I nah know. i think that maybe I think what i would have to say might be shed some light on it uh, no all right <laughs> this guy's the biggest clown i really want to know what you got to say so we'll step over here come on let's go yeah we'll step over here get back to work man you got to respect the public you can't be doing that respect the public you can't do that dude this is why we have a disconnect okay. with the people. That's why you guys are in the hate. I know, I That's know. why you guys are in the hate. I know. Definitely disconnect. I know. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You guys earn the hate on a daily basis because of assholes like you. Okay. You're an asshole. Okay. Go ahead. So, what did you say? Hi. So, hi. What's your name? My name is Kiki Kai. Hi. Hi. Kiki, you touch me too? Uh, huh? I'm kidding. <laughs> is it okay? I, 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 you <laughs> why does everybody like to touch, touch me? Because you have strength in your nice. shoulders. Nice. Look at him. He's like, hey, hey, clown. No, no, no. Be nice. Okay. You're gonna, I'm gonna file a complaint on you. I'm gonna hold you accountable, Baldy. Go ahead. No, it's not that. I'm just trying to conduct business in there, recording, and people have, they, they have a meltdown over a camera. Well, hey, Joey, uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's not the camera that's the issue. It's the clown behind the camera that's the issue. I mean, you're perfectly fine going into a lot of public forums and filming to your heart's content, but the moment you go into a non-traditional public forum such as a courthouse where there's a lot of more restrictions going on, then uh, that's what becomes the issue. I mean, you know this, Joey, but you are trying to play the persecution complex card here. We all know that. We all see it. Unfortunately, a lot of your fans eat this stuff up for breakfast and uh, feel like that, well, this happens to them every day because they're probably nothing but a bunch of criminal scumbags themselves. But hey, uh, let's just carry on, shall we? Because this uh, Morris guru has just entered the picture and things are about to get a bit more interesting. Well, okay. I'm, so I, who are you? I'm not going to dispute that. My name is Kiki. I'm from Starlet. Hi, how you doing? Hi. So after you meet Kiki over here and hear everything that she has to say, the Collier County Sheriff's Department is right across from this courthouse. So let's see how it goes there when I file that complaint on Deputy S. Acosta right after this. So what we do is we help, we actually help people understand that what's actually occurring. Mm -hmm. So the constitutional rights that you're looking for oh, are yeah. based upon the documents that you have to provide. What do you okay? mean by that? So in other words, what I mean by that is if you have, were you born in Florida? Yeah. Okay, good. 
So you have a birth certificate at Vital Statistics? Can we go to the shade? Yeah. I was trying to get you over <laughs> right, That was my bad. I'm, I'm dripping. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we're trying to get okay. you over here. Okay, go ahead. To, to kind of bring down the heated argument. Okay. So essentially what the courts do is the courts enforce agreements. You understand? Agreements for what? Any agreements and all agreements. If mm -hmm. you have an agreement, then they're going to enforce it. So when you were asking him, when you go back over the tape and you say, hey, what gives you the right to do that? And he kind of looked at you, you know, just kind of straight face. It's because there's either an agreement in place to enforce against you or there's no agreement to enforce for you. Mm -hmm. He can't tell you that. He can tell you that, but he can't tell you that in a diction or um, a language that you would plainly understand because they don't speak plain English. Mm -hmm. They speak a language that's called forked tongue, also known as legalese. Okay, okay, forked tongue, legalese. Uh, are you also going to get into the lizard people? Because I've heard this same thing out of... Uh, the lizard people believers as well. I mean, this just, this kind of thing just goes way out there. Mm -hmm. So you have a language barrier. So when you said there's a disconnect, I said there's absolutely a disconnect. There's yeah, absolutely disconnect because everything is structured based upon a different language. Mm -hmm. The issue is, is that you don't speak the language that he speaks and he doesn't speak the language that you speak. He is law enforcement, so he is enforcing the current law that's in place. The issue that you are missing, and when I say that, you can look that up because that's a triple meaning the way that I said that. Is that I can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, Joey is really composing himself quite well at this point. If it were me, uh, I would be trying to walk away from this situation right now because what she is talking about is a load of bullshit to begin with. And the way she's talking about it, it's more uh, layers of an onion of conspiracy theory after conspiracy theory, adding layer upon layer upon layer to the this onion. And uh, I don't think Joey buys it, and it seems like he doesn't throughout this uh, exchange, but still, uh, Joey has a lot more patience than I would for it. But you are missing your documents in this court for enforcement, which is what we came here to do this afternoon for the people that I'm with. Don't put them on the camera, they might not be comfortable. I don't mind, I'm all over YouTube, I'm all over, I've been doing this for about 12 years. So the liberty that you're looking for is in documents, you understand? And the documents that we're talking about, you don't have in this court. This is how he is able to enforce, and if you don't mind. No. It, it, you can record me touching the, yeah. He can't, that. he can't, <laughs> he can't. So you're telling me that he, he can touch me? Is, is that what you're telling me? He, well, what I'm, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying. Um, do you want, do you want it, do you want with sugar on it, or do you want the raw version of it? I want it raw. You want it raw, okay? So essentially, your documents uh, that you have are dictating your slavery. Mm -hmm. Is that is how they're able to do this? No, they can't do that. Yeah, I know exactly what she's trying to get at right here. It's all about the Fourteenth Amendment in this particular scenario. The saying that we're pretty much all slaves to the uh, Constitution at this point. And in order to get free from it, we got to release ourselves from the documents or something to that effect. Uh, but, you know, it's still a bunch of freaking bullshit to begin with. They can't put your hands on people like that. So here's, so For here's what? the thing. You, okay, okay, so if I'm breaking the law uh -huh. and I'm... I'm not, I'm not like, if, if it's a lawful order oh, or something like that, I'm right. bringing the law. That's a public building. That's a contract. Yeah, it's, I'm a, it's a public this building. This is a public building. Do you yeah. know the we pay, between? who pays this, who pays this building? The people, right? <clears throat> yes, but you're not part of the people. Oh, I'm not. No. Who am I? That's the problem. This is the, this is who what am I'm I? explain to you. Who am I? This is what I'm trying to explain to you. I pay you taxes are, though. I, so how am I not? Do you know what a tax is? I, listen, yeah. of course. Now, okay, what is oh, hold on. Uh -huh. What, why would you say something like that? Why would you say that I'm not part of the people? What people am I? I want to okay. know that. Like, what, who am I? Okay, so let me explain. So you are you have a status, and that status, that status is called civil mm-hmm okay? Which is called civilly dead, okay? Mm -hmm. Just like 90, and being fair, about 96 percent of the population is called civil mm -hmm. If you are coming to this building other than to enforce your own law, mm -hmm. if you are a defendant, if you are a <clears throat> respondent, that is because you are civil mortis and you are engaging in trade and business, mm -hmm. which is trade. 
participating of everything. <clears throat> uh, everything that guy just said is bullshit. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sounds so much like the corporate self versus the living self at this point. I mean, it sounds like the same argument. It may be a variation on it or something like that, but it's essentially the same argument. But you know what, lady? Uh, we live in reality at this point, and what you're talking about doesn't exactly work in reality. In fact, Joey's argument that he just tried to put forth has more validity within the courts than yours does. If there's a contract that's not operating in your place, they will trade you, they will trade your children, they will trade your car, they will trade your house, they will trade your pet, they will literally strip you of everything down to your socks, and they're being gracious if they leave you with your socks. Wrong! Mm -hmm. Based upon the constitutional provisions that you don't fall in line with. Mm -hmm. The Constitution of the state of Florida plainly states that you can be in prison for one thing and one thing only, and that is for fraud. Uh, lady, uh, where the hell did you get that bullshit from? I mean, look at this list of uh, crimes right here, these felonies that can get you into prison in Florida. I mean, good freaking grief. Do you think Ted Bundy was a myth that he didn't go to uh, that sorority in, at FSU and... Uh, take out all those uh, women? Uh, no, uh, you don't think that actually happened? You don't think he was executed for those crimes? Uh, do you think that uh, he didn't spend time in prison beforehand? Uh, well, uh, yeah, you, you're, you're crazy. In fact, I do believe Joey here has a lot more common damn sense at this point than you do. 18 U.S.C. 1342 plainly states that you cannot use a name or an address or request to be named by anything other than your proper name, which is your name in first, middle, last. Yeah, lady, uh, that USC has more to do with the post office than anything else, and you're about to try to connect it with other things that just really don't make sense. You are a true snake oil salesman at this point. That's it. So do you have an ID on you? I don't need to see it. You can just say yes or no. Oh, absolutely. I have an, okay. I have an ID. So your of ID does not have your name on it. It has your head on it, but it does not have your name on it. What <laughs> it has, what it has is a lease. You are leasing this document from the state of Florida so that you can use their name. And when you pay rent, you are paying to use their name. Rent is the same thing as tax. It's called rent charge. So a tax is a public charge. So when you say this is a public building, you're putting yourself in the wrong category. You understand what so saying? what do you think about the Constitution? Forget it, all that. The Constitution. Yeah, thank you for changing the subject, uh, Joey, because what she was saying was absolute bullshit. Nothing but snake oil salesmanship. I mean, uh, great at trying to change the subject. I mean, but she's still going to spout off a bunch of other BS that uh, really has no relation to the Constitution whatsoever. I can guarantee you that. It is a powerful document, and it is considered a trust. Okay. And in order for you to be part of that provision, you need to bring your vital statistics, document, certificate of live birth in proper form, like I've been telling you, mm -hmm. into here, into these records, and file it in here. In for me to that, take pictures? Not for you to take pictures. Why would you take pictures? I'm taking video in the, of the building and conducting business with my government employees. Okay. And, be, and exercising my First it's Amendment same. right. It's to put same. it in those words, it's a First it's Amendment constitutional right to record like free speech. Yes. Freedom of religion. Fair. This is free press. Fair. We have a right to hold our government accountable. Fair. And show transparency within our government. Correct. Just to put it in those words. Correct. And I have a right to go in there and, re, and, and document all my interactions that I have. I want to conduct, I want to do some public records in there. I want to file some public records. That's a public building. Where's your public and, record? And, Where's and, your documents and, that you have to file? I'm sorry, Joey, but I have to call it like I see it. I know I've been on your side as far as de dealing with her, but uh, what you're saying is still a bunch of BS considering that you know nothing about the public forum doctrines or you are feigning uh, ignorance in it or something like that to try to cater to your audience. But, yeah, it's still a bunch of BS that you're trying to pass along. But at least you're holding your own against this particular uh, guru right here. I still applaud you for your patience, but 
I would have walked away a long time ago. There that, that allows because what are you talking things? about? I, I, I want to file public records on everybody's salary pay on of this of that whole department that I'm going to. So, okay. so I don't so what, what documents do you do? You, do you, so I don't I, really I have all day for this saying. because I, I'm, I've given I've literally given you everything. As, I, I've so given you don't you. agree with what I'm saying? That's not that I don't agree. Okay. It's not that I don't agree. Uh, what I'm telling you uh -huh. is that for you to enforce what you're trying to enforce, you're on the wrong side of the fence to do so. No, you're wrong. I'm you're misinformed. Correct. I am not misinformed. You're misinformed. Do I need permission to, to cuss in public? No. Okay, do, do I need permission to take no. video in public? No. Okay, it's a public building. That's right. It is a public building. I'm a taxpayer. You're probably well, a taxpayer. I am absolutely not a taxpayer. You're not? Well, welfare not. recipient? No, absolutely not. So what are you? How do you pay taxes? I have full faith and credit and contestable guarantees under both arms and I have a bag filled with seals. Okay, that's you. Uh -huh, that's right. The people that watch my videos, uh -huh. they're taxpayers. You're on YouTube. Yeah, I don't know. You should connect nah. me. You should connect me. Yeah, you should. You should. You should. You should, you, should, you, should, you should subscribe to my channel. Okay, how about this? Why don't we subscribe to each other's channels? You have a YouTube is channel? I do. Okay, it's called what is Starlet, it? S-T-A-R-L-I-T in the website. Do it. Say it slowly for okay. my people can. Uh, are they, is this live? Hi. Yeah. Oh, is it live? Yeah. Really? Hi. Are you? Is it Facebook live? Sweet. Nah, okay. I, have, I have Facebook for my friends Do only. You, okay. But okay. This, so, go ahead. so my website is becomethemost.com. And what we essentially do is we help you take your name, turn into intellectual property, liquidate all of your slavery bonds so that you can have your inheritance so that you can continue on about your life. Don't post this until I leave. I'll post it right now. <laughs> you want to post it right now? Post it right now. Why are you telling me when okay. to post and not to post on my channel? You, you see, here's the thing. See, this right? is the thing. This is you guys. We, 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 you go ahead. We, go ahead. Go okay, ahead. We go agree ahead. to disagree on certain things. Yeah. Okay. And here's the thing: is that I've I've been doing this for quite some time now, so I don't mm -hmm. use aggression because I don't have to. I use compliance. Yeah. Right? So most people, we will not comply. Hey, I get it. Enjoy your servitude on the plantation if you don't want to comply with the records that are designed to liberate you. Mm -hmm. It's you literally have been given two primary assets. You have yeah. a social security card which is miss uh, it's got the wrong name on it. Mm -hmm. And you have a certificate of life birth that should have a proper form name that is the correct name. That is the document that is considered gold where you should be able to liquidate as a situs trust, put it into the records, and then have them give you your financial allotments. And this is when they become accountable. Until then, you are a trustee just a lot, right alongside of them. Mm -hmm. You're considered civilly tier more two, civilly dead. Our, our YouTube is Starlet. We just came from doing an event in Oregon. We do live okay. events. We do them throughout the year. Um, and very interesting i want to know what my viewers got to say about yeah. everything you're talking Hell about yeah. I'll stand on everything yeah i, I, I kind of knew said, baby. i kind of knew when i before i walked in here that they, that was going to happen because okay. lee county is the same thing as an unconstitutional rule from a judge you know we the people have a right to be in there yeah we can tell how uh much you were interested in this joey how quickly you changed the script on her from her script to your script at this point you change the subject because you have no interest in what she has to say and i don't blame you dude because what she's saying is a bunch of bullshit to begin with and uh but what you're saying is still has a loads of bullshit as well but at least there's some truth to it while she has no truth whatsoever so congratulations joey you just encountered uh, somebody who is more of a dumbass than you. And record and document everything that we have, you know, all the interactions we have with our government officials. Okay, and take well, video as a journalist, you know? Course. And I kind of knew this. I just of put course. it to a test, pretty of much. Course. You know what I mean? But so I'm not so surprised that, 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 you know what let I mean? This. A constitution, if you look up the word, it, oh, look this up, completely constituted trust, okay? If you look up completely constituted trust, okay. you will find that all of the property has to be transferred over to the trustee, which is the recipe that I just gave you. Mm -hmm. Go get your certificate bring it in here and transfer it over to the trustee and then you will find that the adversaries and the enemies that you previously had a week ago that are here mm -hmm. now become your allies and they will literally <laughs> put a bubble of listen i've been surrounded and i'm telling you in the state of florida i have been surrounded by sheriffs and some shit where i should have they should have fucking smoked me like a motherfucking mm. turkey okay <laughs> you can beat that out you can leave it i don't give a fuck right and I'm serious. I have been surrounded. And when they checked the records and they saw that I had entered my name in their book of life, they stood behind me like this. I swear to God. They stood behind me like this and said, we stand with you. And they surrounded me in a circle. That is a constitutional provision of civilian control of the military. The oh, I really doubt that story very much because, well, the U.S. Constitution Article 2 uh, puts the control of the military 
within the civilian realm, but really only with the president and, well, the legislative branch, you freaking moron. I mean, uh, I, so, yeah, uh, you're full of shit. Constitution of this state, as well as I think 46 other states in this country, plainly state that military is subordinate to civil power. They are military. They have badges. They have the whole... They got the whole military thing going on. They do all this shit, so you know that they Yeah, but the ones it. that act like that, what do you think about that? I think that there's... Did you see what happened in there? I, I did not. I, I came out I came out during the confrontation. Just because I had a camera immediately pushed me I in my back. See. Like, and you I can't put your hands that, on me. And and th that, that that is absolutely a fine line, and you have every right to be upset about that. I'm of course, you can't touch people. He's not, he doesn't have authority that. over me. They're enforcing an agreement or a lack of an agreement. If you yeah, what about the oath they sworn oath to the Constitution? The, that's right. What about that? Where is your participation in the Constitution? Where is your part of the completely constituted trust that you are supposed exactly to, what I'm doing? You have no. This is not what. This is not it. You, you have to understand. We're talking mm -hmm. about agreements and contracts, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking about agreements and contracts. Where is your agreement? Because if you don't have one with them, they don't owe you shit. They don't have to owe us nothing. Yes, they they got to respect they, our rights. They absolutely owe you everything, including all... They, 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 they owe you your rights, titles, profits, proceeds... Freedom everything. is supposed to be freedom. That's right. They're they supposed to respect our freedom. The, that's just that simple. Says that the Constitution, that's simple. That you, you are not supposed to buy your freedom. However, however... Or ask permission. You have a duty I don't need that. Also, you have a duty also to... You Listen... They gave you an well, this is becoming like a communist country. You know? of, well, I can't to dis I cannot disagree. Straight with up, that. I do this for I a living. Disagree. I know what I'm doing, and I run into clowns like that all the time. Uh, Joey, uh, and you as well, uh, Miss Guru. Uh, if you actually think that this is a uh, communist country or is turning into one, I suggest you head over to North Korea, where one of the first things they'll make you do is bow in front of the statues of the Kim Dynasty over there. Then you'll know what uh, tyranny is. Then you'll know what communism is. And this isn't it over here. And I don't. Some I run into good cops. The, well, a lot. There, there, you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand so, what you're saying. And I can't disagree with, with you being upset over mistreatment. Because, you know, because you're correct. Now that, I got to file right? complaints and all that bull crap. If you file a complaint, I have it all on video. File it a civil tier more to civil you know? dead. And when you do that, it's going to work against you. Now, if you come in from the civil power... And you're dealing with military you will quickly find if so let me say this when you spoke to this officer here and you said uh officer i'm going to go ahead and invoke your your uh your constitutional provision of um military being subordinate to civil power i'm a civilian please don't put your hands on me you would have gotten instantly the change that you were looking for probably an apology and maybe even an escort and a man-to-man -man conversation I'm learning something new every day with this of course oh listen I got i'm glad i'm glad you're talking got, i'm glad you're talking like that yeah joey go ahead and use that technique uh, on the officers the next time that they uh stand against you and uh, see how fast they get a look of con out of confusion in their faces of this game playing. <laughs> These people have beat the brakes off of me and they have also saved me. And I'm telling you. Yeah. Because I know how to play the game and I learned how to play the game. I had to learn. And I started off pissed off like, you motherfuckers, how could you? <laughs> and you know who taught me? Yeah. You know who taught me? Harvard graduate judges, police, uh, clerks, state troopers, yeah. all of the same people that you're like, you guys suck and blah, 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 and all these new clowns and this and that. Those are the people that taught me. So when you go over the replay, he probably gave you instructions in his own variation of English that you went over your head because he said he was like I told you and you didn't hear me. You don't yeah. want to hear what I have to say. Yeah. So so having said all of that, thank you for letting me touch your biceps. You're a very good looking man. I gotta go. I don't know about all that. He's handsome. <laughs> Hey, I appreciate the All talk. Right. I, I really want to know. Too, we'll I really want to know what my viewers got to say about that. All right. Well, look at shit. I, I, I really knew this was going to happen. Like I said, it's nothing. Hey, I knew this courthouse is very corrupt here. It, it, yes, they are. They're yes, they are. You're you are I, it's just a camera. Clients. Nah, I, I don't agree with you on that. I don't agree with you on that. It's just a camera. I don't come to antagonize anybody well, listen, or anything gonna, like that. We're going to go over this, right? So here's my, my email is um, S-T-A-R-L-I-T at become the most calm the website anyway, it's a little shameless plug <laughs> the website is become the most.com 
Um, and we're on YouTube. I don't know what the fuck the YouTube is. I forget what the hell the YouTube link is. It's out there some damn where. But I'm not. We'll find it. To find. Not difficult to find. Send me an email. You I will. And I will connect, and we'll we'll do. We'll do All right. Cool. We'll go back and forth. Appreciate then. that. Appreciate All the right. talk. Well, you guys have a good day. Well, oh, they're out in public, <laughs> so they don't have a choice. You have a good day. Well, okay then. Uh, between the two of them. Uh, Joey had a grain of truth in everything that he said. I'll be honest with you. Just a bit of a grain of truth. But with that grain, he had more truth in everything that he said than anything that she said. I mean, you could easily destroy her arguments if you had access to any information whatsoever. Uh, Joey, on the other hand, it takes a bit more of a... Uh, research to uh, actually debunk his bullshit, but seeing as I've done it several times before and he never varies his arguments, it's still quite easy if you've done it before. But at least Joey has a bit more of an intelligent argument. At least there is some truth there. And he at least tries to uh, play the victim card uh, a lot better. But she, on the other hand, uh, well, she tried to play herself as being this uh, big shot at one point by uh, saying that uh, she had control of military people like that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to call bullshit on that. Uh, as well as calling bullshit on everything that she had to say. Now, I'm not defending Joey in this. I'm just saying that, well, he had the better uh, grounding as far as a coherent argument goes. And that's really saying something in this situation, that Joey had the better argument in this situation. While she talked uh, most of the time, uh, Joey, he didn't seem to want to uh, really uh, get uh, together with her. And tried to change the subject on several occasions. Uh, so, yeah, I, he wasn't buying any of it. Although, in the end, it seemed like he was trying to uh, tease her. I mean, that, I think it was just all just trying to get away from Urban in, in the end because he knew what she was saying was BS. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?